Hello, um, today we're going to be doing this distributor off a of 1987 to 99 head. Um, this is pretty much the same technique for all of the CVHs, but uh, the main difference being the distributor. So some, some of the early distributors have a vacuum line here and a valve. Some, some don't have this electronic um, connector here. So as I get to each of them, I'll make you a video for each. Um, but this one's in, in 87 to 89. So uh, before you begin, make sure you, you make some indexes to where the timing is. Otherwise, or, uh, this, this will help make things easier when you go back to put it back together. You can see that someone had dimpled the head and then dimpled the plate there. They had also dimpled the head and dimpled the plate here. So that when they stuck it back on, they know that it's supposed to line up that way. Um, once you do that, you can loosen the two bolts. There's one here and there's one on the other side I can show you. And then you rock it back and forth. That should pop out. This connects directly to the camshaft there. It only goes on the one way. So um, if you're 180 degrees off, it will fight you. It won't go in. Um, and that's the other screw. So it's just like that. So this distributor only goes on one way. It goes on with all the timing components facing back towards the firewall. So keep that in mind when you're installing this. It's to have everything lined up right so it go, uses with the assembly process. Um, and the reason why I might fight you is because there's this O-ring here. There's no other gasket, it's just this O-ring. Um, and if you need to make sure when you put it all back together is that you coat this O-ring with some motor oil or some high temp grease to not only help you install it, but to keep the seal, because there's oil in here. There's oil in the head, and if you, if this isn't sealing, you'll leak oil out of here, possibly at a significant rate. And you see that this is a different color than this back in here. It's because this is chamfered. So it's kind of funneled to help you put this back in. So, on the other end, this is the, the, the cap. Um, it's just two screws to get the cap off. Cap comes off, and then you have your your rotor and your ro rotor plate. Um, so pretty much how this works is this is all connected directly to the cam. And the center post rides up against the center of the distributor. It's right here. Or, Yes, the center of the distributor, because um, that center post goes to your ignition coil. And then this outer spade it runs past these four outer posts, which go directly to your spark plugs. And then as this um, timing plate or rotor plate spins by, it goes past these sensor coils to help time your spark. I mean, you can see a rod here. Some of the early, earlier ones have uh, variable timing depending on the vacuum of the engine. But they also don't all have the sensor plate. Uh, the older ones have a, uh, a counterweight system here instead of it being all digital. Um, so when do you when do you want to replace it? Well, you can see that my center lug is a uh, pretty pitted, and all these guys out here are oxidizing. Um, another good test to tell is if any of these are loose, if any of those posts are loose, just replace the cap. Um, and you can see that this guy is pretty pitted, and my concern is that it's been wearing here in the plastic where it's been sitting inside the channel. The plastic will wear, wear and not the channel. Um, for good reason, because I don't know how how easy it is to find this plate, but anyway, you can see this move some. That could affect your timing, um, but for the most part, it's pretty rigid. So, um, 
Um, but anyways, you can get a cap and rotor kit, which means you get this cap, you get your rotor piece in it. These are only five to ten dollars here in the U.S. So, when in doubt, replace it. Once you're done, you put it all back together. Like I said, slowly put this on. If it's not working for you, spin this here 180 degrees. Try again, and it should go click. And then just seat it by hand until it's flush to the head. Get the timing marks right. Now you can put your bolts in there to center down. And now you, um, it may help disconnecting all the spark plug leads off of this guy before you start diving into all of this. Um, maybe you don't have to. Uh, I know with my EXPs, um, it, it helps a lot if I can remove the center, but then I found that if I start sliding this out some, then I start running out of spark plug rope. So then I got to undo all my plug leads there. But um, anyways, that's about it. Um, good luck. And I'll do videos on the other ones as I get to them. So thanks, guys.